Welcome to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack and this is yet another video tutorial. Not one of my normal video tutorials such as uh, Photoshop Elements. This is going to be a video tutorial to try to help you maintain your computer and take care of your computer for what it is. It's more than just a machine. It's also a place where a lot of bad things can happen. And I wanted to show you a couple tools that we use in the uh, computer field to keep your computer nice and clean and running smoothly all the time. And another reason I actually wanted to create this video is to maybe hand it out to a few of my friends because uh, I spend so much time cleaning viruses off of computers and getting rid of spyware off of computers and people call all the time and say, Jack, my computer is running so slow, um, it, I might have to buy a new one. Well, if you buy a new one and you buy a new computer with Windows on it, chances are it's going to start running slow again, people. That's just the nature of the beast. I know, I do it every single day of the week. I work with uh, computers. Uh, we maintain 700 computers every single day of the week. Uh, well, luckily we don't have to touch each one every day, but you know what I, you know what I mean. Now, I guess the, the best way I wanted to start this, um, this tutorial off was is to make you better understand what I am talking about. Uh, there's some things in your life as well as in my life that we have to take care of that we provide what's known as maintenance for. Our family car, we provide maintenance for that. We provide maintenance on our homes, on our house. We take care of our house. If there's a leaky pipe, we fix it. And if you have a boat, all right, I don't have a boat. I'd like to have one, but I don't. Uh, but if you have a boat, you know you have to keep up maintenance on that boat too. Um, another thing, we used to have a camper. Every year I had to maintain that camper. Uh, in the wintertime, I had to winterize my camper and uh, such as that stuff. You know, even your normal appliances in your house. Look at your, uh, your dishwashers, uh, refrigerators, stoves, uh, washers and dryers. Everything needs maintenance. But why is it that people want to buy a computer, put this computer in their house and start using it every day and get on the internet and be looking up great stuff on the internet and they never worry about maintaining that computer? Now, I know I did a video a while back, at least uh, either that or it's in my book, but every spring, at least once a year, pop the side of your case off your computer and get some compressed air and blow it out, blow the dust out. And believe me, a lot of people, I went into their homes and they said, Jack, our house is immaculate. It is cleaned every day. Uh, we vacuum, you know, uh, four times a week. And that's fine. But the main thing is uh, dust collects in the computer because of just the natural way that's built. Computers are basically built where the fans suck air through the front of the case and it pushes out through the back of the case. So what tends to happen is the front of the case gets filled with dust particles. I mean, a lot of dust particles. As well as the power supply in the back will start to get filled up with dust. What does that do to your computer? It creates a massive amount of heat. What does heat do to a computer? It drastically reduces the processor speed because the processor is working 10 times harder because it's taken uh, into consideration all of this heat in your case. And uh, believe me, I have extra fans in my case, and all that does is add extra dust, uh, technically. It helps to cool, but if you don't keep everything cleaned out, you know, I do mine uh, every three months is what my, I like to do. I pull my uh, tower out of the desk, uh, and I blow it all out. Another thing people don't, don't realize is, and I don't have any pictures of this right now, so I'll just explain it to you, is most computer desks, the tower goes in the desk, and when the tower goes in the desk and you shut the door, you're trapping in all the heat. You might as well put the, the uh, computer inside your furnace. It's going to be the same thing. Now, how can we get around viruses? Well, there's a couple ways. Now, my way, I've been telling so many people, and unfortunately, I've told my, uh, my stepdaughter this so many times, that uh, get a Mac. The first thing is to buy, buy yourself a Mac. It's just as easy to use as Windows, and people say, oh, my, oh my goodness, Jack. A Mac, you know, a desktop Mac is going to start at about thirteen hundred dollars. I can go to a local local shop and I, I can buy a whole computer system with a monitor and everything for, you know, uh, four hundred dollars. Well, yeah, but when you buy it there and it has Windows on it, you have to take extra care of maintenance. You have to take care of that computer. 
Another way is to use Linux. Um, I didn't have a picture of that up here, but I'm going to bring it up. Um, I use Ubuntu Linux or Ubuntu. This is absolutely free operating system, and it works absolutely superb. Uh, now, there's a couple things about Linux. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, and I'll try to do some videos with my Linux computer. I built, I actually built two. I have a laptop here in the office. And I built my media center around uh, Ubuntu Linux and uh, loaded Boxy on it. And it's been working very well. <coughs> Sorry for the slight cough. I, I do have a major cold going on. So I'm trying to get through this video the best I can. Um, now, the thing about Ubuntu is you can load some Windows applications on them, such as Microsoft Office. Uh, you can load on there. We've loaded Internet Explorer. iTunes is e iffy. You know, it doesn't work that great. But most of the software you'll find for this Ubuntu is absolutely free. Free uh, photo editors for everybody out there doing photos, uh, working with my uh, Element tutorials. Um, there is free Office package on there, absolutely free. So, and it doesn't get viruses, folks. It doesn't get spyware. It doesn't get viruses because it has a Unix or a Linux type backend, much like the Mac does. The Mac has a Unix type or Linux type backend. And it just doesn't get attacked. I don't know why that is, uh, but it really doesn't. Now, let's explain to you about Windows. Microsoft Windows, right? We all run it. And I don't know if Windows.com is even a real site. All right, so I'm a PC, and Windows 7 is my idea. Okay, we all run it, right? Windows, Windows XP, Windows 2000, uh, Windows Vista. I'm sure a lot of you are still running out there. Uh, if you are, upgrade to Windows 7. I have it on my desktop. I'm doing these recordings with it. works great. Now, Windows, the reason that Windows has, I think, so much viruses and so much spyware is because we tend, every kid in your house, we tend to sit them in front of a Windows computer at the age of 2, and they start goofing around. Well, by the age of 13, maybe 11, they learn to program. And by the age of 12, maybe 15, they learn to write spyware and viruses. And they're having a great time because we put that computer in front of them, right? Because we gave it to them for 300 bucks. Uh, my kids in my house use nothing on their computer but Ubuntu Linux. Um, actually, that's their laptop. It has Linux on it. And I used to reload their Windows computer every two months. I got sick of it. I put Linux on it, and I haven't touched that computer now. It's been a year, and it's still running strong. So if you want to know more about Linux and Ubuntu, do some research. But now we're talking about Windows 7, or, or Windows in general. So with Windows, you have to do maintenance, or your computer's going to start running slow and sluggish. And Now, is this an advertisement for one of the great antiviruses out there, spyware, uh, software, uh, people say, Jack, I bought this spyware software. It was only ninety nine ninety five, and and I turn around and I laugh my butt off, because there's nothing better in this world than absolutely free tools. I've been using them for years, and they work. So let's go over these free tools, and all of these tools I'm going to have links uh, right on this YouTube video, so you can just click and download these things because you need these tools if you're running Windows. The first one in my toolkit is SpyBot Search and Destroy. If you do a search on Google, make sure you download it for free. Make sure you get the free one. You'll know it's a free site because it says to donate. It asks for a donation. You know, if you want to kick these guys five or ten bucks, kick it in there because I tell you what, these guys will keep your computer, keep the spyware and junk off your computer, keep it running smooth. Now, folks, these are all tools I'm showing you, and they're all free tools. This tool is very, very easy to run. All you have to do is, once you download it, and I suggest use this securitywonks.net. Use that download. And the reason I say that, I'm going to try to bring it up here, is because I found they have the big download button right there. You don't have to look for it. Those other couple sites, you kind of got to peek around. You got to look around. And what they're doing is they're trying to show you other software that you might want to buy. Don't mess with them sites. Just click right here and download that baby. Download it and install it to your computer. 
Uh, if you don't know how to download software, when this says download, it says save now or run. Just click on run and let it install itself on your computer. It's going to create an icon on your desktop. Now, when you run this software, you run it and tell it to scan your computer. I scan the whole computer and then there'll be a box at the top. It'll say fix checked now. So whatever is check marked, it's going to fix it. <coughs> Unless you're a computer whiz kid, which I've been doing it a long time, but I don't consider myself a computer whiz kid. Um, I would not uncheck anything. I just leave them all checked because if it looks bad to the program, it probably is bad. These guys put a lot of time and effort into figuring out what's bad. Uh, let it fix everything. I run this thing once every couple months. You can run this tool not when you have a problem. Sometimes when you have a problem, it's too late. Uh, although these are our tools, these are our first defensive tools when we have a trouble uh, on the computer. But we try to run them before you have a problem. Remember, it's maintenance. The next program I really like is from Trend Micro. This again is absolutely free. It's called Hijack This. Now, if you've ever been using Internet Explorer, and every time you load it up, a website keeps coming up or a pop-up window comes up. Or what I really like this for is what you'll get is what's called a redirect. You bring up a web page. You're bringing up uh, Disney.com for your for your um, ten year old. No, not ten year old. Your Disney.com for your six year old. You bring it up and you get redirected to Disney's uh, XX-rated.com um, because it's redirecting you. All this stuff is somewhere in your registry keys or who knows where. Hijack this will cure that 100%. Again, run it. Again, let it check your computer. Let it scan it. Then you want to check down through all the check boxes and tell it to fix all the check stuff. Clean all your stuff out. It's called hijack this. Next one we're going to go here is this one first. Avast. So many people tell me, Jack, I bought this great antivirus software. It was only $99.95. And every year I got to re-register it to get the updates. It's $39.95 per year. And I tell them, does it do a good job? And they said, well, we think so. And I said, well, that's fine. That's no problem. If it does a good job for you and you're happy paying $40 a year, good for you. Myself, I use Avast. Avast, there's a free home edition. And there's also a business edition that you can actually purchase for your company if you are running a company. Uh, you can buy the, the that edition, uh, and all the different editions are right here. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can come right down here, and you can click to download the newest version, uh, which I loaded today. I'll show you what that looks like here. Uh, let me bring it up. This is what their new version looks like. Uh, you can scan the computer right from here. You can do a quick scan, a file system scan, a removable media scan. Plug that thumb drive in. You can actually take a look at that. You can do a real-time boot scan. You can turn this on, and when you turn your computer on, it will actually scan it. And you can schedule a scan. So you can do all kinds of stuff with this uh, program. And we're going to just close that out. But it runs in the background of your computer. It doesn't cause any havoc at all, and it keeps your computer clean for absolutely free the updates are free they may ask you once a year can you please re-register the reason is they want to know how many people out there are using their free antivirus you know then they can say we give away uh, 20 20.2 20 uh, million copies of free antivirus per year by our software and it makes them better because they keep up on things a lot tighter than just uh, being a commercial company now, another thing, you may or may not agree with me, but sometimes Microsoft puts out some wonderful products, um, and they put this product out, and it's a wonderful product, and it probably is a wonderful product because Microsoft didn't write it. Uh, Microsoft actually bought this program a few years back. It's called now Windows Defender. I don't remember the old name. You may. If you do, email me. Uh, it's jackstechcorner at gmail.com. Let me know what the name originally was. But I remember Microsoft bought this program, because they wanted some kind of a, a defensive type program on their computers to kind of keep the bad stuff out. When we get anybody's personal computer, if we can, we load this up on it. Uh, if it's running Windows and it does a remarkable job. Again, it runs kind of in the background. 
it keeps away the spyware you don't have to worry about too much about it so run your windows defender get it now you can just download it and your avast if you run those two tools then you will uh, be very happy uh, that your computer is running so much better and so much faster folks that's about everything I have for you in this episode and like I said all these links for this software will be uh, let me make sure I got them all lined up here they will all be uh, in the little note there on the side you have to click on more to pull it down uh, I'm sure you watch enough YouTube videos but they'll all be there and they'll all be able to uh, download these things for free get these on your computer get your maintenance done and uh, take care of your PC so your PC can take care of you that allow you to watch more YouTube videos that allow you to watch um, you know whatever without having all that spyware to worry about or pop-ups on your screen that's totally ridiculous um, until next time um, you know I know this video is a little bit off base but like I said I, I do want to teach you I think this is a very important topic uh, so you understand how to keep your computer clean and for you Mac users out there and you Ubuntu users don't worry about your computer just use it and have a good time uh, Max and, and Linux for whatever reason like I said they really don't get viruses and people out there will argue with you Windows community will say uh, there was a Mac virus once uh, back in uh, 1989 uh, uh, you know what it, it, Windows people will say that and I'm not saying anything against Windows guys because like I said I'm running Windows 7 on this machine and it's been running absolutely superb so far I haven't had any problems with it knock on wood uh, I do gaming on it and everything else. It's a great computer. It works good. Um, but I also run uh, Linux, and I also run a Mac. So there you go. Okay, folks, till next time, as always, keep those PCs running clean, keep your maintenance up, and I'll see you back here very soon. Once again, this is Jack with Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.